picture our solar system, a vast expanse where planets orbit a blazing sun. Each planet tells its own story. But Earth's tale is particularly fascinating, thanks in large part to one silent yet influential character, our moon. Unlike the barren skies of Mercury and Venus, or Mars with its tiny asteroid-like moons Phobos and Deimos, Earth is graced with a significant celestial companion, unlike any other in our solar neighborhood. This isn't just a matter of cosmic decoration. The moon plays a pivotal role in Earth's story, a role no other celestial body in the solar system can claim. As we journey through the cosmos, we find that Earth's moon stands out not just in size relative to its planet, but in its profound influence on Earth. The moon isn't merely a passive observer. It actively shapes our world. It's a tale of cosmic fortune, where the moon's presence has had far-reaching effects on the conditions necessary for life. This introduction will set the stage for a story of serendipity and synchronicity, revealing how our moon, born from celestial violence, became a cradle for Earth's stability and the life it harbors. Imagine the early solar system, a wild, unruly place teeming with planetismals, the building blocks of planets. These space wanderers, composed of rock and ice, hurtled around the young sun, colliding and merging in a grand cosmic dance. Earth, our future home, was among these embryonic planets, still in the process of forming its identity. In this celestial chaos, a dramatic event occurred, one that would forever shape Earth's destiny, a planetismal roughly the size of Mars, hurtled towards Earth. The stage was set for a cataclysm of unimaginable proportions. As this Mars-sized body, often referred to as Theia, collided with young Earth, the impact was so immense that it nearly destroyed both. The violence of this collision is hard to comprehend. Imagine two vast celestial bodies, each a world in their own right, smashing into each other with incredible force. This apocalyptic event resulted in the vaporization of a part of Earth, and possibly the entirety of Theia, creating a swirling, seething ring of superheated plasma around our planet. This spectacle, more akin to a cosmic storm than a serene planetary ring, marked the birth of something new. From this ring of fiery debris, something remarkable happened. Over time, as the chaos subsided and the plasma cooled, the debris began to coalesce. Gradually, a new body formed, a satellite that would come to be known as the Moon. This process wasn't quick. It took hundreds of years for the Moon to fully form and stabilize in its orbit around Earth. But the outcome was a new permanent fixture in Earth's skies. The evidence of this violent birth is etched in both Earth and the Moon. One compelling piece of evidence lies deep within the Earth itself. Our planet's core contains an abundance of heavy metals more than what would be expected for a planet of its size. This anomaly suggests that these metals were a contribution from the impactor, Theia, indicating a violent merging of two celestial bodies. Moreover, when scientists study the Moon, particularly through lunar rock samples brought back by the Apollo missions, they find clues to its origin. The composition of these lunar rocks is strikingly similar to that of Earth's mantle. This similarity points to a common origin. The Moon and Earth are made of the same stuff. This fact is crucial. It supports the theory that the Moon was not a stray body captured by Earth's gravity, but rather a sibling born from a shared, violent past. The Moon's birth from Earth's own material is significant for several reasons. It speaks of a shared history, a bond that goes beyond mere gravitational ties. The Moon is not just a satellite, it's a piece of Earth, a remnant of a time when our planet underwent one of the most catastrophic and transformative events in its history. This shared origin story sets the stage for understanding just how deeply the Moon has influenced Earth's evolution, from stabilizing its tilt to creating the conditions necessary for life. The Moon, born from violence, became a guardian of life on Earth. The Moon, a seemingly passive celestial body, silently orbits Earth, yet its influence on our planet is both profound and multifaceted. Beyond its mesmerizing beauty and cultural significance, the Moon plays a crucial role in Earth's environmental stability and the conditions that make life possible. 
Each day, as the moon travels around Earth, it exerts a gravitational pull on our planet, most noticeably seen in the rise and fall of ocean tides. These tides are not just a spectacle for beachgoers, but are vital to the ecological balance of coastal environments. They influence breeding cycles of marine life and the health of ecosystems, impacting species as diverse as crabs and mangroves. Even some land creatures, like the ingenious dung beetles, navigate using the moon's light, showcasing its subtle yet pervasive influence on Earth's inhabitants. Beyond these daily interactions, the moon has left an indelible mark in Earth's very nature. Our planet's axial tilt, a 23.5 degree lean, is responsible for the seasons. This tilt ensures that different parts of Earth receive varying amounts of sunlight throughout the year, creating seasonal cycles that dictate life on Earth. From the bloom of flowers in spring to the hibernation of animals in winter, the rhythm of life on Earth is synchronized to these seasonal changes. But this tilt, and thereby the rhythm of life, would be drastically different without the Moon. In the absence of the Moon, Earth's tilt would vary wildly due to gravitational influences from other celestial bodies especially the Sun and Jupiter. Such variability could lead to extreme and rapid climate changes, making it challenging for life to adapt and thrive. Imagine a world where the gentle transition from spring to summer is replaced by abrupt and unpredictable climatic shifts, a scenario far from conducive to the delicate balance of ecosystems. The Moon, however, acts as a gravitational counterweight. Its presence helps stabilize Earth's tilt keeping the angle relatively constant over long periods. This stability is crucial for maintaining the consistent, predictable seasons we experience, providing the stable environment for life to flourish. In essence, the Moon acts as a cosmic anchor, holding Earth's tilt in check and shielding it from chaotic shifts. The stabilizing effect of the Moon has profound implications for the development and evolution of life. The regularity of seasons allowed life to evolve in tune with Earth's environmental cycles. Plants and animals have developed life cycles and behaviors adapted to these predictable changes. From migration patterns of birds to flowering cycles of plants, life on Earth is intricately linked to the rhythm set by our planet's motion around the Sun, a motion moderated by the Moon. In summary, the Moon's influence extends far beyond its nightly glow in our skies. Its gravitational pull orchestrates the tides, while its stabilizing presence ensures the regularity of seasons, both essential for the diversity and richness of life on Earth. From guiding nocturnal creatures to anchoring the climatic rhythms, the Moon is not just Earth's satellite, but a key player in making our planet a vibrant, life-sustaining oasis in the vastness of space.